Bob Clayton, thanks for taking the time. You went to the Art Adamson Invitational. Always a tough one. Great matchups down there. And uh, maybe the Falcons can get overlooked, but you had a great weekend. We did have a great weekend, Brian. And um, you're right. It's always a great meet. And then, uh, on top of all the great teams that have been there in the past, Alabama jumped in this year. And, um, you know, they put four or five guys in every event that are superstars. They bring Olympians. They bring, you know. And so, you know, it's a little overwhelming when you look at the psych sheet. A little overwhelming for all of us. Um, and, and you see, you know, names you read about, names you recognize as NCAA champions, Olympians, etc. Um, but the guys did a great job. We just got better and better through the weekend. Um, you know, it took some time to realize, hey, we can compete. You know, maybe we're not going to win this event or whatever, but we can compete. And uh, and we have to compete. We've got to go out there and um, do what we came here to do and do the things that help us to get better and, and get ready for the rest of the season and especially the conference championships. Speaking of getting better, Wen Zhang just continues to get better, set new school records, new conference records. Uh, uh, we'll get to the other guys in a minute, but wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, what do you say? It's just, um, it's a treat to be able to work with someone like Wen who is uh, as, as incredible a person as he is a swimmer. And... Um, you know, he, he takes care of details. He takes care of the little things. He um, genuinely is better the better the competition is. So he relishes the opportunity to, you know, to race Brooks Curry again. And th those guys have a, a neat little rivalry going. And um, we've seen them. The LSU has come up a couple times uh, to us and swim us in Denver and um, – Anyway, it's been a great rivalry to watch, and it was great to see it renewed, both in the, the 200 and the 100 over the weekend. And, and Wen was amazing. You know, he's, he's sitting number three right now in the 200 free. Um, he's somewhere in the top 10 in the 100 free. And uh, l like you said, new, new academy records, conference records. Um, yeah, he, he's just amazing. You had a lot of other swimmers, though, who actually upped their personal best, if not for the season, maybe overall, and uh, just, just some, some great swims. I think it gets lost when people see if you're just looking for who won certain races, but if you look at times, it makes it different. Correct, correct. Um, and, uh, you know, someone like John Plute, who is a butterflyer, had a, a terrific freshman year. Um, this year, we've depended on him to swim a lot of freestyle and relays. And he has really come through and really done a great job. He's a little bit of injury stuff. He's, he's worked through. He's fought through. He's, he hasn't backed down all year and has just done an amazing job. You know, Grant Affman also in the flies uh, was really, really good over the weekend. And, um, you know, Garrett Brockman, Joseph Moore um, really did super job in the IMs. Um, and uh, 200 fly, Joseph was really good for a good 50 to 70 percent of that and then kind of fell apart. But those things happen in the middle of the season. And, and if we do it right, you can approach a race that way and then finish the race and do amazing things. And he was, um, you know, he looks like he's kind of in that place where he's setting himself up for amazing things, as do many uh, of his teammates. We had freshmen who were amazing. Um, Anthony Sebastian, you know, was, was terrific in the breaststrokes. And um, Camden Swiger, Jack Van Valkenburg in the distance, those guys had great, great meets. Um, Camden in the IMs especially. So he was, he was our top finisher uh, in, the, in the 400 IM and really did a great job. Um, Louis Bodie had a great meet. So, you know, it was a tremendous meet for us. Um, and, and like you said, sometimes that gets lost when you have such stiff competition. But um, the guys did a great job of fighting throughout the whole weekend, getting better and better as we went, and really doing some things that put us in a great position uh, to compete well at the end of the year in the conference championships. For sure. I saw a quote from you on day two. You said that uh, times this year or ahead of times last year, which bodes really well for the future. Yeah, exactly. We um, we always measure our relays, uh, especially, 
And we were right on, a little ahead in some relays, and, and right there, uh, which is really good. You know, the, the class we graduated in 22 is an amazing class, an amazing group of young men. And um, we're, we're not deluded into thinking that we're replacing them. We're not, and we miss them. But, um, you know, we've, we've kind of compensated for some of that loss with, with a little more depth, a little more numbers of guys who are contributing. And, uh, and I think by the end of the year, this team's going to be really, really good. Yeah, it should be fun to watch. Thanksgiving week, a uh, special week for you guys. I know some training will continue for the U.S. Open in another week here, but uh, what does it mean to you? Oh, Brian, I have so much to be thankful for. I'm so grateful for, you know, for, first off, my faith, my God, and, um, you know, his mercy on me. Um, but for my family, uh, it's great to have you know all my, all my kids back some of them are out of the house now and so to have everybody there and the chaos that it means when you have eight people in the house um, I'm grateful to work here grateful to be at the Air Force Academy and grateful to be able to work with the young men that I work with and for all that they're doing um, for our country I know, I know it's cliche but boy we've got guys out there doing all kinds of things you know that um, that allow us to stay here and and do things like swimming because they're out there, you know, protecting us or, you know, in harm's way. And so, you know, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all that, um, you know, that, that this, the Air Force Academy has, has allowed me to do and the people that I get to be around. People like you, Brian. I'm grateful. Thanks, Rob. I'm grateful for you, too. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Brian.